Hello everybody, I'm back. Lisa Fuller here, training video six, and this one is going to talk about utilizing three-way calls, utilizing your upline, and like I said in the last video, you are brand new. No one is expecting you to know what to say, to know what to do, and we're not expecting you to know anything, really. You're just learning as you go, and that's the reason for these videos. But one of the things that I have found over the last five and a half years is that if somebody is really new, they, they really have one shot with their warm market in the very beginning. And that's why we want to introduce the business the way we described in the first five videos because we want you to introduce it to people the right way. We don't want you um, being salesy or pitchy. We want people to truly know that you care about them. Not only that, but that you wanna change their health and their wealth. Um, so this video right here, I wanna to talk to you about how important it is to utilize three-way calls with your upline because that is how you're gonna learn. That's how you're gonna grow. That's how you're gonna know what to say. And, and you will see that soon after three, four, five calls after you hear your upline um, pitch the business to people, you're going to learn what to say. And, and the biggest mistake a new person can make is either they don't know what to say so they don't say enough to get somebody interested or they're so excited that they say way too much and end up confusing the person out of doing it. So in order to pitch this business the right way, this is what you're gonna do. We're gonna go back to the hundreds list for one second. Now on that list, I really want you to look through it and I want you to put some stars next to some people that you really feel um, would be great at this business. Maybe they've done a business like this in the past. Also look at those people on your list that are contact rich. And what I mean by that is somebody that just knows everybody, has a lot of friends, they're involved in a lot of things, they know a ton of people. That type of person on your list can be somebody that can really bring you to a whole bunch of people that might be interested in your business. And even though they themselves may not be interested, they may know people. And so we are going to reach out to those people and we're going to ask. We're going to ask for favors. We're going to say, hey, can you do me a favor? I'm just getting started with this awesome business with these all natural products and I want to help people and I know you know a ton of people. Is there any way that you think that you could get three or four people together for about an hour so I can come talk to you or show you what this is? I'd be willing to give you a free wrap. Or get with that person and this is what I want you to do. I want you to pick five people on your list that you think either need this business, that you would just love to work with, somebody that you think might be interested in the business side of this. And, and don't prejudge. Even those people that you don't think would be interested, but you think they'd be good at this, I want you to put a star next to their name. And then what I want you to do is I want you to give them a message. I want you to give them a call. And I want you to say, hey, I was wondering if you could do me a huge favor. I am just getting involved with something and think of something complimentary to say to them. Maybe they know a lot of people. Maybe they have always been supportive, supportive of you. Maybe they are helpful. Start it out by saying, you know, you've always been super supportive of everything I've done in my life. And I know you were the first person I thought of um, to ask for this favor. Or you know so many people. You're so popular. Um, everyone just loves you. And I thought you'd be the perfect person to talk to about this. So give them a compliment first. Why are you reaching out to them? And, and everybody's gonna be different. For those people that you don't wanna um, really let them know that you're trying to pitch a business to them, you are going to simply say, hey, I am just getting involved with something, I'm learning it, and the person, my friend Lisa, or my friend Julie, or Angie, or whoever signed you, um, said that the best way for me to really learn this is to see if I could get three or four friends that would not mind hopping on a three-way call with me and you and, and my upline, Lisa. And all she's gonna do is describe what my business is to you. And all you have to do is listen. And it's basically teaching me what I need to say to people. No pressure at all, you don't have to buy anything, nothing at all. And that's all you're gonna say. And, and those people, yes or no, sure, yeah, I've got 10 minutes, I'll do that for you. Um, and then, I'm, or your upline, or whoever is doing your three-way calls, a diamond or above upline, they are going to pitch the business. Now, 
your friend or family member is just thinking they're doing you a little favor by listening. But what is really going to happen is they're going to hear it. They're going to actually learn about what you have. And even if they're not interested, they may know somebody who is. And your upline is going to totally, totally do it all for you. You just have to get them on the phone. The other approach that you can use with people is simply this. Um, hey, I, I just got involved with the business. One of the first people I thought of was you. I think you'd be great at it, and I know that you could use it. Um, it's something I call a want, need, or hate. So if you know someone on your list and you know what their want is, their need, or their hate is, for instance, you have a friend that is constantly complaining about her commute to work that she never sees her kids, a good approach for her might be, hey, Susie, you know, you're always complaining about your boss and your commute to work and how you're so tired of working there. I think I might have found a way for you to get out of that job eventually. You want to hear about it? And when she responds back, sure, what is it? Say, can you get on a quick 10-minute call? That's it. It's super simple. So maybe that person's been wanting to go on a vacation. Hey, John, I know you and your wife always talk about how badly you want to take the kids on a vacation, but you never have the time or the money. Um, would you be willing to listen in on a call with me that, that, um, it, that might be able to help you with this? And when they ask you what it is, simply say, I don't want to go into too much because I don't know all the details, but I'd love for you to hear more. And then there's just another approach might be asking for someone's opinion. Look, I'm just getting into something. I would love if, if you had 10 minutes to hop on a phone call with me and someone else so they can explain to you what I'm just getting started with. I want to know your opinion. What do you think? I really value your opinion. And, and at the end of the day, once you line up these three-way calls in the beginning of your business, you are going to see that the business is going to be introduced the right way and you're going to learn because you're going to be listening and the cool part about it is that some of these people are going to be interested after they're just getting on to do you a favor um, and some might be interested because they see the value in it changing their life and if not the upline that does your three-way call is going to ask them um, at the end if they wouldn't mind hosting a party for you or booking an appointment or if they wouldn't mind giving you some referrals so we will do the work for you you just need to line up those calls and so I hope that you will look through your hundreds list I hope that you will look through your friends list and get some of those three-way calls started so that we can get step three going for you which is getting those three distributors in the computer and hopefully helping one of them start doing the same process and if you do that you are getting that $500 bonus or whatever bonus is being offered um, the month that you sign. You're going to get that bonus because we are going to help you make that happen. So I'm super excited. I hope you go for it. Go through your list. Get those three-way calls scheduled. And one last thing. I just want to teach you how to introduce once you've set up the three-way call. So once you've contacted your person and said, would you mind doing this 10-minute call with me and Lisa, my friend, my upline, whoever, once you get on the call, you're simply going to say, Hey, Lisa, I want to thank you so much for getting on today. Julie, are you there? That's your friend that you invited. Hey, Julie, this is Lisa. This is my friend Lisa. She's also my upline in the business. She's a super amazing. She's been in five and a half years. She knows what she's doing, and I can't wait for her to um, tell you all about the business. Or you can say, um, thank you so much for me doing me this favor. Um, I want to introduce you to Melissa. She's my upline. Um, and take it away, Lisa. Thank you so much for helping me today. Whatever. But just make an introduction. Don't make it an awkward thing where you just sit there on the phone and go, okay, you know, so, so make sure you introduce. Other than that, let's do it. Let's get these three-way calls booked. I promise you, I, look at me right now in, this com in your computer. I want you to look at me. If you are doing exactly what we have planned out, laid out in the last six videos, including this one, you are going to find people and we are going to help you do it. But you have to be willing to step out of your comfort zone and you have to be willing to give it a go. Just give it a try. Do what the videos say. For those of you, the very small group of people who maybe you don't have any friends or family, um, maybe you have zero support and maybe at, you tried the first six videos and they're not working for you, I want you to watch the next video because we are going to get into talking about how you can go ahead and build this business without the support and friends and family. So see you next video.